So yesterday I tweeted about the fact that I'm working on a package to easily create WordPress options pages for WordPress plugins. You could use the core settings API that WordPress provides, but I don't really like it. And the reason why is, I will show you, you need quite a bit of code for a simple options page. As you can see in this example on the WordPress documentation, um, it's quite a bit of code to ultimately end up with this options page. Um, I've created an example plugin and I've taken the snippet from the documentation, um, just pasted it in here and uh, it will give you this options page. So that what, what I would like to show you is how you can recreate this options page with the package that I'm creating. So let's head on over to Visual Studio Code. Create an instance of WP settings. Give it the name of WP org options. Uh, next we'll create a section um, like this. Give it a name, which is the matrix hash you. And the section, the section will be having the option of the type select. We'll give it a name, WP org field pill, and a label as well, just pill. Um, let's see, does it have a description? So it has this description. So we'll add that as well. And then an enter tag and then some more text about the red pill. Paste it here. Okay. So did I get everything? Oh, there is a description about the section as well. So we'll add that and then we'll be ready. Like this. So for consistency, I will do this as well. And finally, we'll execute the make method to render our new options page. So we'll uh, comment this all out. Or rather, we'll remove it. Looks a little cleaner. Uh, head on over to, oh, for, I I'm forgetting to import the class. Save this. Let's head on over to WordPress. And I see I'm making a small mistake. Yep needs to be here. Sorry about that. We'll refresh the page and then when we click WP Org Options you'll see we have an almost identical um, options page but I'm for forgetting one crucial thing which are the options. So we'll add them. Uh, so we have blue and we have red. Save this, refresh the page, and now we have an identical options page with a lot less code, as you can see. Um, and I really, I really like it, to be honest. So say, for example, you would like to create uh, tabs to this options page. It would be quite some... Uh, some tasks to do this with the settings API that WordPress provides, but with this package, you can do the following. Let's say um, we want to have a general tab. You can add this like this, say tab, then here, the section will be added on the tab. 
and say that we now want to create a tab called MailChimp. Very difficult to type MailChimp apparently. Um, and we want to create an option uh, on that as well. But first we'll need to add a section. So let's copy this. So the section is called API doesn't have a description and the section has an option just a basic text option with a name api key um, well that's about it so let's save this hopefully i've made no mistakes now so far so good so if i click mailchimp we have a api Option, so I forgot a couple of things. I forgot to add the label. And the name should be something like this. And uh, this dot will remove that as well. Refresh it. That looks a little bit better. Uh, so I can uh, put in a value here, save it, and it will be saved. One other nice thing I would like to show you are the validation options you, uh, you have. Say for example that the API key needs to at least uh, have a length of 12 characters. We'll add validate here. You can add multiple validation rules, so that's why I'm typing two arrays. We'll have a feedback message. Um, the API key is too short. Then we'll have a callback with a function that has a value parameter. And we'll do something like this. Uh, string length value uh, is bigger than 11. Then it will be true and therefore it will be valid. Otherwise it will be false and invalid. So let's save this and I'm back. If we now save the options page, we'll see a validation error. Yep, that works. And it, if it has enough characters, it will be uh, it will be valid. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one final thing: if your uh, if your options page get gets bigger and bigger, you might want to have uh, sub tabs, or rather subsections within your tabs. Uh, you'll see plugins like WooCommerce do things like that. So I'll show you how easily you can do this with my package. So the only thing you need to do is say as link and set it to true. Now let's add another section to show you what happens then. Let's say we have something about lists. Hit save. Go back to our options page, refresh, and as you can see, you now have a sort of a sub menu in which you can switch to the different sections. Um, so I'm still working on this package. It's not finished yet. There are still some finishing touches, um, some details that I need to look at, but hopefully in the near future, you'll be able to use it. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you for now. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.